What is this place? What is Las Nevadas? <sighs> Have you noticed that Quackty is becoming a master of manipulating people and somewhat evil because I have? As Dream was the main villain on the server, I think Quackty might also fill that role. I noticed this change in Quackty's newest low stream. The first thing I noticed was when Quackty was talking to Dream. He wanted Dream to write a note to Techno and he would do whatever it would take to get that note. And I believe once Quackty gets everything he can from Dream, he will kill him, no hesitation, nothing. Brutally murdering Dream. Evil you've done to this entire server and everyone in it. So you know it's what? Because you like it. You like torturing me. You know what? You know what? I might. I might. I don't give a sh. I don't care what it is, what the reason is. If you don't write that goddamn note, I'm going to kill you, Dream. There is a lot more from that stream that Quackty showed us how he's becoming manipulative and evil. He speaks to Foolish and says he let Foolish die in the Red Banquet. Obviously, Foolish wasn't happy, but the worst part was Quackly said he let Foolish die because Quackly wants him to find his old chaotic self and then join Las Nevadas. Again, Quackly uses someone to better himself and not care about the other person. You used to be big. You used to be great with everything you did. And now you are nothing but an empty shell. You are to be feared from the outside, but on the inside, everybody knows you were just a builder. And I was hoping at some point that you would realize this after I let you die at the Red Banquet. What? Wait. You let, you let me die? Again and again, Quackdy has done this. He done this to Purple as well by using him to defeat the Eggpire and then instead of paying him, he destroyed his one attachment to the server, his spaceship, a iconic build destroyed. But again, this part isn't even that bad compared to what Quackdy said next. Quackdy reveals why he done it and his reason was Purple had no attachment on the server after destroying the spaceship. So this would make Purple perfect for Las Nevadas, as he had nothing to lose. Purple kind of agrees by not killing Quackty then and there, but this shows us again how manipulative Quackty is by using someone's anger and loss against them. The final one was Fundy. He scared Fundy so much that Fundy had to give Las Nevadas a chance, and maybe he will join Las Nevadas. This was weird as Quackty used Fundy's own mind against him, showing him past events and making him feel sad and at fault to what happened to Le Manberg. Quackty scares Fundy into a corner and the only way out is joining Las Navadas. What do you, what do you expect me to do? Take the tools that I'm giving you, Fundy. Take the tools and do something big. I'm offering them to you right now and you can have them. And you can be someone else. You can be someone big. Fundy, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to decide. 10. Wait, 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 What made Quackdy turn evil and become what he hates, Dream? Well, there is a lot, but the two main events in Quackdy's life were Schlatt taking over and the end of Le Manberg. Quackdy was taken advantage of when he was serving under Schlatt. He thought he was going to be alongside Schlatt, not underneath him. But this was only the start of Quackdy's desire for power. After being underneath Schlatt, he built up a rage and join Pogtopia to fight against Schlatt. This is where we see Quackdy's true power-hungry self begin. 
we skip a forward a bit and then we see the end of Le Manberg. This also took a lot from Quackley as before the end of Le Manberg, he was becoming somewhat of a leader of Le Manberg, helping Tubbo and Fundy as well with controlling Le Manberg and everyone in it. But for Dream and Techno to destroy it, this left himself in rage and anger as Quackley was so close to probably taking over Le Manberg for himself. So Quackley knew he had to do everything his own way, his own path, his own journey to victory. This was Las Navadas, his own power, his own place and his own people. Everyone serving him, not Quackley serving other people. This is how Quackley turned into Dream. The similarities between Dream and Quackley are quite clear. They both lost a lot and failed in some way, but this did not mean they failed mentally. They were more driven for power than ever. For Quackty, he lost Le Manberg. Everything he worked for, he lost it. He looked like a fool, an idiot, but he was driven to more power, the same as Dream, as he had two cannon lives taken away from him, and he has been put in prison and stuck in there for a long time. His ego will be through the ground at the minute. But you can tell they've both lost and they are both still power hungry. This would drive any man insane. But with these two, they turned that into chaos and destruction. There are some differences though, as Quackley's motives are to make as much money as possible and get as much power as possible. Dream's motives are to get as much power as possible and turn the Dream SMP back to what it was. But what Dream doesn't know is that the server will never go back to the way it was, as he is going to do it through blood. This will not work to turn in the Dream SMP back to a peaceful server where he can rule everyone and whatever happens, Dream will know about it. This is the biggest difference between them both as Quackley knows the future will have to be different to whatever the past had. This is why he is creating a new government to actually make a better future for himself but also for the people that work for Quackity. Quackity also knows that the future needs to have someone at the top of the food chain. We have seen Dream at the top, we have seen the Eggpire quite at the top, we have also seen someone as powerful as Foolish maybe declared as one of the most powerful Dream SMP members and he would have been at the top. But Quackity knows power is everything on the Dream SMP. Schlatt knew it, Wilbur knew it, and Dream definitely knows it. So this is why he wants to be on top of everything in the future of the Dream SMP. The manipulative side of Quackity is what triggered this so much. Because when I seen Quackity with Purpled, Foolish, and definitely Fundy, you can see he has his own manipulative ways between each person. Every way is different, but from each other. So it is very clear that Quackity is kind of like Dream, as Dream was doing this to Tommy in exile. Quackity is following a similar path, just with more people, and showing how you can manipulate anyone on the server. I have just got one simple question to ask you. Who is gonna be a better villain? Quackity or Dream? You've got Quackity who wants to cause chaos but also control everything. Not destroying the server, just controlling everything and having all the money, all the power. But Dream is a very chaotic person. He doesn't mind destroying things, the community house and definitely Le Manberg. So who would be a better villain? Who would cause more destruction? Or who would attack each person individually? I'll leave that to you in the comments. But this is how Quackity is becoming Dream. Ugh, well, this last Nevadas, maybe I should join. But I don't want to be some water boy. It looks like a big country. I want to be respected. I need to be respected. Huh, Quackity? What are you doing? 